In this tutorial video, we'll be calculating percentage decreases. Uh, and the method we're going to use is, well, you can term it chunking, if you like, chunking. So let's go about using this particular method in solving these kinds of problems. Let's look at number one. It says decrease 822 by 40%. So I guess what we have to find out is what is 40% um, of 822. So chunking involves breaking down uh, numbers so that they can be handled a little bit more easily. And what we're going to do is we're going to break down, I guess, probably let's break down the 40%. And the 40% can be broken down into 10%. So 10%, let's find 10%. Should be pretty easy. 10% uh, is basically 822 divided by 10. Decimal point is here. We're going to divide, so it's going to go that way. How many jumps will the decimal point make? Well, that's determined by how many zeros there are in the denominator. Uh, and there is one zero. So that's going to jump to here. So 10% is 82.2. Now, I need four of them to make 40%. So 82.2. So let's do that. 82.2 multiplied by 4, or I could just add 82.2, 82.2, 82.2. So either way would be fine. I'm just adding these up. So I could go 8. Here is 8, and here is 4 8s of 32. So there I go. That is 40%. It's 328.8. Here is 328.8. And I just now need to subtract that amount from 822, which was the original amount. So let's do that. 822 minus 328.8. Now there's no zero here, so I'll put a zero here, put a decimal point here, and now we can do it. So zero minus eight we can't do, so we need to borrow. So that's going to be 10 minus eight is two. We're up to the decimal point. 1 minus 8, we can't do. We need to borrow. So 11 minus 8, that's 3. 1 minus 2, we can't do. So borrow yet again. That becomes a 9, 11 minus 2. And 7 minus 3 is 4. So 493, this is going to be dollars. It's money, so we need two decimal places in the cents uh, part of the amount. So this needs to be a 0. And decrease 822 by 40%. And you're going to end up with... $493.20. So that's how you can answer number one. Let's tidy this board up a little bit and take a look at number two. Number two says to decrease two meters by 35%. Okay, so 35%, let's get our 10%. So 10% of two is, so if I get two and I divide by 10, Decimal point is here. I'm going to be moving it that way. How many spaces will I be jumping? How many place values? Well, there's one zero in the denominator, so it's one jump. So 10% is 0 0.2, and I need 5% as well, and that will give me 0 0.1, because that's half of 10%, right? Okay, so if I'm going to need 35%, that means I need three 10% and one 5%. So let's just write that up. So I've got 0 0.2, 0 0.2, and 0 0.2. That's 30%. That's three lots of this, and 0.1. Add them all up, and I've got 0.7. So 0.7 needs to be subtracted from 2. So 2 minus 0.7. So I need to put point here and a 0 here. Now it can be done. I have to borrow. This becomes 3. 1 minus 0 is 1. So the correct answer here is 1.3 unit of measurement meters. And that's the answer for number 2.